Hi, sorry I'm late per usual. Um, no, I don't want to continue as me on Google. Thanks for asking though. I'll hang out for a couple minutes, let people join. Welcome, welcome. Let me do the things, whatever. I changed my Instagram again. High quarter life crisis. On time as always. Love the new name. Thanks. I realized it was like just confusing. I felt like it was just confusing people. So I was like, let me just make it consistent. Because I was going to make it consistent, misredacted. But I don't know. I just feel like that's not the vibe. Like I need to stay true to my roots. You know what I mean? Um, thanks. I just kind of wanted to hang out and talk and look at houses and shit like that, though. I don't really have anything. Well, that's a lie. Because I'm me. I always have something. I have a list of houses. Some of these are like shit that people have sent me and some of them are like ones that I found just on my own perusing. You know what I mean? I need to like make a commitment and either put the sweatshirt on or take the sweatshirt off. Actually, I can't decide and I don't care. So whatever. Um, saw your tweet about your boss hearting your message and need to tell you I was wrong. Do you play Animal Crossing? No, I think that part of that part of your brain that like does games, that part of my brain is just broken. It just doesn't work. Like, I don't know, I just can't do it. For some reason, it's just like, it just doesn't work for me. Um, I hate how like, so on the Twitch app, you can't like share your page and I wanna put the link on it or I need the link to it and it doesn't have like the, share the link to your page on the app, which is annoying. Um, let's see if this one goes. Nope. It got, I got addicted in March 2020. I know a lot of people were addicted to Animal Crossing in March 2020. I've never been into games, which is like ironic that I use Twitch, but like I don't play video games, computer games. The only games that, um, the only games that I even like are like stupid ones. Like I like Solitaire, you know what I mean? Solitaire is a fun game. I most commented on your TikTok to ask if you would be on insert streaming site tonight. I'm on here, but we're not doing education horror stories. Hi, Kimbrielle. Um, we're not doing education horror stories. Like, we're just hanging out and living our best life. Because partially, I didn't have that many submissions. Um, and I just, like, I didn't feel like making the slides. Evie had stuff going on, so they weren't making the slides. And I wanted to do just, like, a hanging out one. Like, I've been wanting to do a hanging out one. So I just felt like the stars aligned to do, like, a regular hanging out one. So we're here hanging out. Um, on Wednesday, we're going to learn about MK Ultra, though. Do you guys know what MK Ultra is? Let me post this on Instagram. Come hang out on Twitch. I hate a self promo. Hell yeah, MK Ultra. So MK Ultra is basically when the US government was like, hey, what if we just like tried to like mind control a bunch of people and we gave them a bunch of drugs? What if what if that happened? So that's what we're going to talk about for MK Ultra. I actually don't know that much about it. I need to learn about it. Tomorrow, I'm going to learn about it, and then I'm going to make the slides, and then on Wednesday, we'll do it. That's usually what I do. You did a report on MK Ultra in, or MK Ultra in college. Um, okay, let's start looking at houses, because I have all these houses, and a lot of them are, like, really fucking really wild. Um, so let's get into it. And then I figured, like... We can look through these. If you have one that you know about, you can you can send it in the chat. I'll just peruse on Zillow, whatever. But <clears throat> I like I looked at these, but I didn't look at them. Let me put my sweatshirt like all the way on. Hold on. So I looked at them, but I didn't like high key look at them. I don't know if you can hear me right now. Okay, that was stressful. I have a clip in my hair and it made that difficult. So I looked at them, but I didn't like high key look at every picture or really look at any of the details or anything like that. So this is kind of going to be my first reaction to it. What's your Instagram handle? A Walmart parking. I'm trying to make it a Walmart parking lot, but the fucking app keeps glitching out. It's annoying. Um, this stream makes me realize how trash my social studies education was. To be fair, MK Ultra was a relatively small group of people. Like I would say in terms of defining moments of US history, that I wouldn't put that on the list, but it is really interesting. Um, but yeah, I figured I haven't seen these houses. So you're getting kind of like, not my first opinion, but some of a first opinion. Sorry, I'm late. I was eating dinner. I got, um, I bought the homophobic chicken. I'm sorry. I had a bad day. 
um, it's what's what did your Insta handle used to be? It used to be the same as my Twitch. So my Insta and my Twitch were the same, but I felt like no one could find me. Like, cause people would find me on Twitter cause my Twitter was a Walmart parking. And then I was like, everyone knows me as that cause that's my fucking username. Um, so that's why I changed everything to either a Walmart parking lot or a Walmart parking. Um, a Walmart parking lot was taken on Instagram. The person who doesn't really have any followers. So I kind of want to DM them and be like, hey, I'll give you like a Chipotle gift card or something. And you are forgiven. Oh, fucking love Dr. Pepper. They forgot my straw, so I'm being an environmental queen. This is a reusable straw. I hate paper straws. I fucking, I hate paper straws so much. This is a plastic reusable straw. I, so my work, we only have paper straws. Like, we only have them, and everywhere around us only has them. Like, all the restaurants around us. Like, I don't know. I think our fucking block made, like, an agreement with each other, I guess, to only have paper straws. So I bought, like, these kind of plastic straws. Like, these are plastic straws, but they're you can put them in the dishwasher. I like it because I like to chew on them. You can still chew on these. Are you near water? Yeah, I am. That's why. I know it's, like, a good thing or whatever. I think it is a local ordinance where I live. But, yeah. So I bought reusable plastic straws and I keep them in my desk and I just rinse them off in the sink in the little kitchen. Paper straws can be bad sensory issues. I hate the way they feel on my mouth. It's disgusting. Ugh. Man, I just realized the chat is not showing up. Oopsies. Fucked up there. Delete and re-add. My God, I can't believe I let that go on for so long. Wow. Truly ashamed. This is why I don't make the big streaming bucks. You know, you know what I mean? Um, there we go. I tested positive for COVID this morning. This is, oh, I'm sorry you tested positive for COVID. That sucks. Vi Vibe triple dot. That's rough that you tested positive for COVID. Thanks, PTX898, first time chat. Welcome, welcome. Why does Bigot Chicken have to be so good? I know. And like, I have like eating is rough sometimes like sometimes I get like nauseous from being anxious and I don't want to eat and Chick-fil-A is one of the few things that I can pretty much always eat like I can always stomach Chick-fil-A usually not all the time but it's usually the best chance I just restarted my insta I feel so free so my actual instagram that I've had since I was literally like 13 I don't post on it because it's just like ugh, ugh. what's your Chick-fil-A order so I have two different Chick-fil-A orders one of my Chick-fil-A orders um, is a spicy chicken sandwich. Sometimes I get pepper jack on it um, with fries and ranch and buffalo sauce and either a Dr. Pepper or a lemonade. Dr. Pepper if it's the daytime, lemonade if it's nighttime because I don't want to have caffeine super late. I'm doing it right now. Oops. But And then, so that's my sandwich order. What I just ordered that I usually order is a 12-count nugget meal with the sriracha the sweet chili sriracha dipping sauce, and then fries and Dr. Pepper or lemonade. One thing that's also very good at Chick-fil-A, their mac and cheese is like, for being fast food mac and cheese, is fucking good. Is it the best mac and cheese I've had in my life? No, it is not. No, it is not. But is it the best mac and cheese for that price at that convenience? Absolutely. Knocks everyone else out of the water because it's like baked. Um, so sometimes I get that like a little side of that. That's one of my favorite sick foods. Like if I'm sick, Chick-fil-A mac and cheese with nuggets. And sometimes I'll mix them together with buffalo sauce and ranch. How am I not dead? <laughs> my best friend's cousin can't eat CFA because of a peanut allergy. I feel so, someone is gonna cross reference your orders and find your identity. I have to keep a bottle of CFA sauce in my fridge all the time. I don't love Chick-fil-A sauce because it has it's heavy barbecue sauce, and I'm not a barbecue sauce gal. So I'll use it if there's nothing else because I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite. I don't get it ever. It was you who retweeted the scamming on rental app fees, right? Yes, it was me. What about Polynesian? I like the Polynesian sauce. I like the sriracha, the sweet sriracha one better. Personally, because I like the sweet and spicy. You know, what are you guys' Chick-fil-A orders? Also, thanks to everybody who followed me, Caddy Ma, Caddy Mommer. Yeah. I don't know. I've never gotten into Polynesian sauce like that. I've had it, but it's just never been my go-to. All right, I want to look at some of these houses. Let me, like, rearrange my screen. Hold 
little bit. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Okay. So let's get into it. Let me make this a little smaller so I can still see all of you. There we go. This is pretty. This is in San Francisco. Your sound in a stream is really good. The beginning of your stream, it was lower and hard to hear. Oh, thank you. Good. Glad to hear. Glad to hear. Um, this is in San Francisco. This is $30 million. <laughs> the fuck? It's <laughs> Where in San Francisco is this? By Lafayette Park? So I don't even know where that is. I looked like I know anything about San Francisco. I went there one time. I loved it. Went one time absolutely loved i'd pay 30 million dollars just for the doors fun fact cfa refines their peanut oil so the protein that people with allergies are allergic to isn't in there i'm allergic to nuts and it was life-changing holy shit nicole marie 98 that's groundbreaking for the peanut allergy community this might be problematic like this might be what gets me canceled but i if i had a kid that had a peanut allergy i'd be so fucking annoyed not as a teacher, as a parent. As a teacher, I'd be like, we can all have our issues and I still love you all equally and I will support you. But if I was a parent and a kid had a peanut allergy, I'd be like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you serious? Like, you think I have time to deal with this? Because like, that's so scary. You have to be so on top of that all the time. Like, <laughs> I'd be really overwhelmed. I'm not good at stuff like that. I'm not a detail oriented person. Like God gave you to the wrong mother. Cause I'm not going to read those labels. I know myself. I'm going to forget. I'm going to forget. And then boom, I try to line out a peanut allergy. You can be a criminal. You can do whatever you want, but a peanut allergy. Oh my God. Like, am I going to do it? Yeah. I'm still going to love you obviously, but like, am I going to be happy about it? That's another fucking question. You used to have a peanut allergy, but you grew out of it. It just affects me with dessert. Dessert would be a rough one. I feel for the peanut allergy community because like that sucks. You can prevent peanut allergies before a certain age. Imagine like an egg allergy. Oh my God, fucking speaking of egg allergies. This is why I'm glad we're doing a just talking one. So I used to work at this hotel, right? And this lady, she was like the HR person that did my orientation. She was kind of a bitch. Like she was just like a try hard and like relax. You're working HR and like it's not that serious. Like she yelled at a dude, not yelled, but like was like, please put your phone away to a guy that was answering a text during the orientation. And that should just rub me the wrong way because like we're all adults here. But anyway, I digress. She worked in HR and I was just like talking to her during lunch one day about like her background and whatever and how she came to work for this company and the position she's in. And she was like, oh, well, I used to be a pastry chef. And I was like, oh, well, that's kind of a 180 to go from being a pastry chef to working as like an HR coordinator. And she was telling me it's because when she got pregnant, she developed a peanut or she, she developed an egg allergy while she was pregnant. So she couldn't work as a pastry chef. And her doctor was like, lots of people develop allergies while they're pregnant. You usually like grow out of it at the end of your pregnancy or whatever. Like it usually goes away. So her work was like, they had like a temp position open in HR. So they're like, we can just put you in this HR position while you're pregnant so that you can still work and whatever. And then when you come back, as long as you're all good, you can just go back to your pastry position. The fucking allergy never went away. And that kid is like five now and she's still allergic to eggs. She literally went to culinary school. That literally was going to be her career. And now it, now she works in HR. But also one time I told someone this story and they were like, she's dumb. And I was like, I mean, I don't like her. So I agree, but like, what's your logic? And they were like, she was a pastry chef and she became allergic to eggs. I'm sure that's happened to a bunch of other people. There's such a market for like vegan stuff and egg stuff. She should have like told her story, started like either working for a vegan bakery place or started her own vegan bakery place. And she totally could have been way more successful than she would have been if she had just like than she is after just accepting this HR position. And I was like, you're totally right. I bet that has happened. Oh, for sure. That's a good plan, right? I was like, I was like, damn, you're fucking right. Her egg got fertilized. Then she became allergic to eggs. I would hold against a grudge against that child that ruined my career. I'm so sorry. That really can be said for every mother. At the end of the day, we are all just barriers to our mother's career success. And I live by that. Another reason never to get pregnant. Being pregnant scares me so bad. That shit seems terrifying. Like the things that can happen to your body. Like Frazzled is pregnant right now. So excited for her. If you're watching this somehow, hey, so excited for you. But sometimes when she talks about the symptoms or the side effects, I'm like, oh my God, it's brutal out here. 
But let's look at this $30 million house in San Francisco. So Quarter Life Crisis mentioned the doors. We love the doors. This couch, like, this is a staged house because this is not comfortable. Like, this couch looks like it'd be comfortable to sit on, but, like, you can't, you can't get in on this couch. You know what I mean? Like, you can't really get in that couch, you know? Frazzled is so pregnant, I can't wait for her to give birth so she can rest. That's how I feel every time I see someone that's super pregnant. I'm like, you just need rest. No, but why do rich people have such bad taste? So this is gorgeous. I like this room. But again, these chairs, like these look like hotel lobby chairs. Like they're not meant for you to sit down for long. You know, like it's abundantly clear that they want you to leave like sooner rather than later. Um, the way I was about to say hotel. Yeah, it's like, that's a resting chair, not a sitting chair. That's a taking a break chair. Not welcoming, but very rich people don't sit. Yeah. I really like this little table area though. Like I would eat there. That'd be nice. Cool stairs. This is, that's nice. I'm not even gonna lie. They did a good job with this. I would have gotten more comfortable couches again. Again, like all this furniture just seems like it doesn't want you to be too comfortable. Like I would have done like a deep couch with like bigger arms. Like, you know, the outdoor like wicker kind of ones. I'm classist in the other direction. The same. Um, I guess this is the outside. You have a gate. That's good for fucking whatever. Because the rich have no taste. I want to sit up that patio, but also I want the vines going up the walls. I like the purple. This is pretty. Whoever picked this landscaping did a good job. The purple looks really good with, an, with the orange. Again, the fucking hotel lobby chairs. These couches look better. Are they the best couches I have ever seen? No. Are they the most comfortable looking? Not in a million years. But they're better than the weird hotel lobby chairs. I'll give them that. V we love a view okay I hate this table these chairs look so uncomfortable oh my I feel like that's all I'm saying but like look at them look at the arms of that if someone invited me to their home and then this was the fucking chair arms I'm like are you kidding me is this a joke I'm leaving what the fuck is wrong with you like <laughs> oh my god I hate when they just post tons of pictures of the views like get to the house i like this this chair looks comfortable this therapy chair let's go back to those other chairs now that i see y'all talking about this in the chat let's focus on these for a second let me let y'all catch up they want their guests to be miserable and leave i think this might be i mean this with no offense i think this might be how my sister would design a house she hates having people in her house <laughs> she would get chairs like this I know I'd get an indent in my arm that hurts to rub. Like, imagine trying to look casual in this chair. Like, imagine, like, this is, like, your boyfriend's parents' house, and they invite you over to dinner, and you're trying to, like, look comfortable and look casual in this chair. So you'd be like... <laughs> Why would anyone make armchairs out of a single metal band? Whenever I see stuff like this, I want to know the approval process. <laughs> Yes, there's an arm on the chair. Let me zoom in. Oh, fuck, it's not going to work. I fucking hate technology. <laughs> I'm literally a technology trainer. Oops. Um, do you see the wire? Do you see the wire? Imagine that. Oh, God, it's just so awkward. I don't like the way they stage this. This is also too small for right here. It's just like they're just not doing a good job. They're just not. And the thing is, like, I've always judged these. I know, but it's like not working. You see what I mean? Like the picture doesn't get bigger, just the words get bigger. Um, I've always been judgmental of these, but now that I work in real estate, I'm even more judgmental because I see that like you can get money to stage a house. Like there's ways to do it. So why are we not doing it? No shades or blinds on the windows. That room is going to get hot in summer eve on San Francisco. Don't a lot of people in San Francisco not have air conditioning? I live in Florida, so it's like literally illegal to not have air conditioning. We don't have heat though. More view pics. I like this room. It's very much giving therapist. Yeah, look at that. That's a therapy chair if I've ever seen one in my life. I like this chair. This chair looks comfortable. How come, this is how you know that this is why they're rich. They are about their money. And you can tell because the office has the most comfortable furniture. So that's where they're spending the most time is where my head is at. Because like, why is the most comfortable chair in the house in the office because that's where you are 20 hours a day the urns in the bookcase disturb me are these urns i think they're books where are the urns 
Did I miss it? Are these urns? What is that? This looks like glass, like a, a sculpture. I think these are vases. Um, another patio pick. These are more comfortable chairs. Okay, that's an improvement. This is an appropriate chair. Like if I was at your house, I think that's an um, amazed chair. B49, thank you for being here and the first time chatting, but I don't really know what that is. This house feels like a house on succession. It's giving reality TV dinner. This is giving reality TV dinner. I like these plants. That's a vibe. I like this kitchen. This kind of looks like a certain symbol. I love the colors of this tile, but it kind of looks like something. Like, I'm not going to say it because I don't want to get banned off of Twitch. I'm, got, I'm getting banned off enough websites right now. But like, y'all see it. Y'all see what I'm seeing, right? I'm not crazy. Like, I love the colors. I love the blue and the white. But I don't know. This just kind of looks like something to me that I don't really think I would want in my home as a feature, personally. I did just realize this is four bedrooms and nine bathrooms. Why is it nine bathrooms? Thank you for pointing that out. Why is it nine bathrooms? Does it look like something we'd not see? Def see it, right? Okay, glad I'm not tripping. Um, yeah, it's, it doesn't get better the more you look at it. I think it's actually like a ribbon with like a leaf in it, but I don't know. That could have been designed better. More uncomfortable chairs. This chair doesn't even have a back. <laughs> Look at this one. It has a hole in the back. Oh my God. <laughs> it's for when you blow out the other toilets. <laughs> Can we please discuss how the chair doesn't have a hole in, or the chair has a hole in the back? Why would a painting where you could put a TV? Have you guys seen those TVs that are paintings? Hate the gray rug. This rug is from Ikea. I think my ex-boyfriend had this rug, and I think it's literally from Ikea. I remember driving it home. Um, it's because all rich people have explosive IPS. <laughs> I love this giant circle mirror. I don't like this painting. I don't, even, I don't even dislike abstract art. I like a lot of abstract art, but some of it is pushing it. I think we can all recognize some abstract art is pushing it. Like, sometimes I'm like, come on. Are you serious? Like, the, hmm, okay, art, $20,000. Like, all right. Sometimes I feel like the artist is joking and they're just not telling us. Like, I think some abstract artists are just having an inside joke with themselves. That's what I would be doing. Um, I used to want to be an artist when I was a child. And now here I am talking about other people's art poorly on the internet. This looks like what my mom wishes her room looked like. Like, I think my mom wishes she could live here. Oh my God, more chairs that are missing like necessary fucking pieces to them. The chairs, look at, stop, stop. Y'all see that, right? I'm not crazy. Y'all see that, y'all have to see that. Isn't high class art just a scheme for rich people to keep their wealth? In some cases, yes. In some cases, no. But in a lot of cases, yes. I literally don't understand what makes abstract art good or bad. I think it's, I mean, art is the, art, art, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Art is in the eye. You decide if it's good or bad. Okay, why'd they put a desk without a chair? Is this a desk? I think it's just like a, a getting ready, like, air, like it's like a, like a vanity table for that mirror, I think. But I hate this chair. I hate this chair so much. Yeah. Wear Jan's candles. This does look like the bench from the office where he sleeps. If that's a vanity, it's ugly and awful. Come for them. Again, with this art, like, I don't dislike it, but I know it was expensive, and I know they could have gotten something at Home Goods that was, like, better. Okay, so we're back to my number one pet peeve of rich people houses, and that is bathtubs that are difficult to get in and out of. This does not look like... This one's not nearly as bad as others, but it's very low to the ground. Like this seems difficult to get out of to me. Unless maybe my perception is just warped, but like that's the handle to the door. That seems low. Like, does that seem low to you? I don't think I could get out of this. Like if I was like slippery and I'd like had one or two. Is that a cloth bench in the bathroom? Bro, just imagine the ass sweat that is just in that cloth bench couch thing. Imagine it, the mildew. 
This <laughs> bathroom is a nightmare. I know if when I get out of the tub, the last thing I want to see is my pale, soapy body from every single angle possible. And that's what this bathroom is giving us. Where's the towel rack? You can clap and your servants come pick you out of that tub. <laughs> oh my God. I hate the mirrors. I don't need to see myself from that any angle. I feel like if I was having you know, like a time with a person, I'd be into the mirrors. But if I was just by myself, I'd be like, I do not want to be looking at myself right now. I can't be the only one that heard that huge crash. Oh yeah. If someone was getting ice, sorry, I live with a lot of people. So that's, that's what you get. The, this is the low quality streaming experience. Um, oh my God, there's more mirrors. I like how they filled the tub for this shoot. They were like, fill that bathtub right now. Some poor intern had to come in here, fill this bathtub. Poor thing. My parents have a middle class house and the tub is impossible, right? So many bathtubs are just so difficult to deal with. I love this staircase. This reminds me of the staircase. Have you guys seen the Devil Wears Prada? And then she has like that staircase up her house that the assistants are always like at. That's what this staircase reminds me of. We've looked at this picture. I love these circle mirrors. They have so many of these. Not like there's a drought in California or anything. Oh my God, I didn't even think about that. They're like, fuck the drought. Fill the bathtub for this real estate photo shoot. And then after a while, they're probably like, mm, it doesn't look full enough. Drain it and fill it again so it looks fresher. I like the floor, but not with that rug. Yeah, I feel like this house was just staged very haphazardly. Like I feel like someone had a big ass warehouse of just like a bunch of modern rich people furniture and just kind of threw it all in here. Like it doesn't look like it was done very intentionally or like thoughtfully or like planned out. Like these two pieces don't really match each other in my opinion. And then like you have this book here and then what's that behind? Like, I don't know. It's just like, it could just be better. Like you can just tell like they had the stuff, but they threw modern furniture in an older non-modern. Yeah, it's just like, and you can do that. Like you can mix modern and vintage, but it has to be like intentional and like done very well. Um, and they didn't do that here. We're not vibing. Okay, I feel like we've looked at most of these and I'm bored with that one now. Um, okay, oh my God, I wanna show you this one. I need to make a TikTok about this one because it's, this is wild. Someone sent this one to me. This is in Los Angeles. It's $11 million. It's four bedrooms, six bathrooms. And right off the bat, I'm here for it. Like I need to talk to one of my agents cause I'm ready to put in an offer. Like I would buy this house. Like, give me the keys. Give me the keys. Big skating ring fine. <laughs> it looks like a modern Van Gogh painting. Like I might actually have people to my house if I lived in this house. So this is the outside. I like the outside because the outside also looks weird. Like I don't really know what's happening with this like walled staircase down to this door that looks like chocolate bars. Nightclub vibes, literally. No, that is what it looks like. There has to be a bowling alley. Okay, so first off the bat, I'm not loving this room. I love like the big windows of this room. I would decorate this very differently. I'm not a big orange gal. I would paint this white. I like open, I like clean. Um, loving the ceiling windows, right? Like I really like the space and I even, I don't like the furniture, but I don't hate the way it's arranged. You know what I mean? Like having that couch here, whatever. And I like this tiger painting. I would paint it white and I'd honestly keep the tiger painting. Um, I hate anything orange, but specifically UF orange. It's giving seventies to me. I love it. I wish the fireplace was the whole wall though. Yeah. This is awkward. I don't like the way they staged this. I'm not happy that they did that. This is where people smoke hookah. Um, kitchen has potential. You know what I mean? Like it's really, there's nothing going on here. I hate these lights. I hate these lights so much, but it's not bad. Like it's fixable. You know what I mean? I feel like this kitchen is just giving nothing. Like I, is it good? No. Is it bad? No. I don't like how the backsplash like is the countertops. That's kind of aggressive. I would deal with that. It's giving early 2000s Tuscany vibes. Why is everything orange? The cabinets are barbed. I was trying to be like nice and considerate of this kitchen and y'all are not here for that y'all are fucking coming for it like immediately you're like we're done with the kitchen we're done too much orange it is a lot of orange I don't like orange and I don't like the floor with the cabinets that was a bad decision oh yeah now we're the opposite the orange wait why are they fucking what's going on in this painting can we please discuss this um a canopy bed interesting also I feel like wouldn't you 
I guess you would want the TV by your bed. I was going to say, wouldn't you put the TV right above the fireplace? But you do want to be able to see the TV from the bed. The different aesthetics give me a headache. Imagine walking into your room or in your home. You've had a long day at work. You come in. This is where you eat dinner. This is where you lay your head to sleep at night. Whiplash. Literally. <laughs> Isn't this the suite of the Hampton Inn? It is giving Hampton Inn suite. The mirrors on the, the dresser. This is giving luxury. We love that for us. This tub seems moderately better. I think these people um, have a little more sensibility when it comes to choosing bathtubs that are appropriate for their home. This one seems like it'd be easier to get in and out of, more so than the other ones. Seems slightly better. Oh my god. I haven't seen these pictures. I only looked at the first picture and was like, I don't care what the rest of the pictures look like. This one's fucking going in here. Not, I like the purple carpet. I think it's kind of fun. Luxury whip. <laughs> what does this look like? This looks like something and I can't put my, the red hat ladies. This room is giving red hat ladies. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Do y'all know who the red hat ladies are? They're like this group of ladies that like go to lunch and shit like that. And this room looks like them because they all wear purple and red. Old lady cult giving Disney theme. <laughs> red hat ladies love to have lunch. And sorry, you just heard me like snorting my snot. That was really disgusting. <laughs> uh, well, not lunch, lunch. <laughs> They're the worst to serve. I used to be a hostess and everyone would not want to serve the red hat ladies because they wouldn't tip and they'd be so demanding. Um, it's giving iCarly. <laughs> It's giving chill like Carly. My grandma was one. My grandma was one too. I think she might still be actually. The red hat ladies are a collective action movement. They do activism. I forgot about that. They do a lot of shit. Do they still do that? It reminds me of bedroom makeovers kids used to get in the 2000s. My cousins and I would dress up as them. Not you cosplaying a red hat lady. Oh my God. I feel like every, every time I go to the next picture, it gets weirder. Imagine you go home with a dude. Like you're at a bar and you're like, fuck it, I'm gonna go home with this dude. And then you're at his place and then you, you're you in the orange living room. Like you're in the orange living room and you're just feeling overwhelmed. Like you're in the orange living room and you're just stressed out. So you're like, hey, can I use your bathroom? And then he's like, yeah, for sure. It's down the hall and to the right. And then you go in the bathroom and it's this. And it's this. I'm trying to allow this message, but don't let me. Like, this is a night club bathroom. Uh, is this a towel or a ring light? Like, is this a towel rack? To me, it's not logical to have a towel rack all the way that high in front of a mirror. Is that a ring light? Like, why are the blue lights and the giant shower head? Oh my God. And like, it really bothers me that this is not clean. You can see like, this is literally impossible to keep clean. Like, you can see every single speck of dirt that has ever touched this. Like, I just feel like being in here, I would get really overwhelmed, like, visually. It's giving TikToker. This is, this is a bathroom that exists for TikToker teens to take thirst traps in. I'd have a seizure and I'm not even epileptic. I feel like I'd feel so good after that shower. That's the thing. I'm like, a shower head this big could honestly be a vibe, but like with the blue and the reflecting of the light, like I just could not, I don't think I could handle it. I like this ass pick in the, the workout room. It's like, do you want a BBL? Get your ass on this machine right now. You're about to DIY your BBL. Okay, this is a vibe. Obviously I wouldn't be playing like poker in here cause I don't do that. Cause like whatever, but. I know one thing I would be doing in this room. I'll let you guess. Early 2000s youth group vibes. <laughs> At least the bathroom isn't covered in mirrors. That's fair. That is fair. I like this room. This is a vibe. This is cool. I think this is, is this a mirror? Yeah, I think that is a mirror. Uh, we've already seen that one, fuckers. Oh my God, it's a bedroom. <gasps> the first pick we saw, I assumed this was like an entryway. It is a bedroom with a stripper pole. I'm literally ready to make an offer. I do not care what I have to do to get the money. I am buying this house. I will live here. This will be my room. This does change the game. Thank you, Average Day. It's giving Vegas, but in the best kind of way. <gasps> If I met, like, if I went to someone's house, like, if my friend was like, oh, yeah, come over, and I'd never been to their house, and then I went to this house, I'd be like, I'm never leaving. I live here now. 
Can we all go splits on it? How many people are on here? There's 67 viewers on here right now. Plus me, that makes 68. I can probably convince my mom to go in, can probably convince my boyfriend to go in. Fuck, there's only 65 people on here now. We're losing numbers. If all of us, what's 11 million divided by 65? Let me do some math here. Oh, shit. 11 million divided by 65. It's $169,230 each. This is not feeling that manageable anymore. Airbnb is foaming at the mouth right now. <laughs> I want to see more pics of this bedroom. Thank God. Stripper hole, four post canopy bed. They need to put the little curtains around it. If they put blackout curtains around that thing, holy shit. I would, l if that bed had blackout curtains around it, I would literally never leave this room because like you wouldn't even have to turn all the cool lights off. You just blackout curtain your room. We can negotiate it down to 10 million. This can be our hype house. <laughs> this can be our hype house, but no one's allowed to take pictures without being like, hey, I'm taking a picture because no one will be posting candidates because that's a war crime. And you know, I'm still a teacher, so it's fine. No, it's good that you're still a teacher because there's like teacher homeowner programs where you can get a house for like less down and you can get better interest rates and shit. So maybe if we use your teacher benefits, then we can afford to buy the house, all 66 of us. It'll be perfect. I feel like people have taken tumbles down these stairs. They have to have. Wait, this room's a vibe too. And there's naked people. Oh, I love this house. Is anyone a veteran? Someone has to, here has to be a veteran. My uncle's a veteran. Maybe we can get him to go in. Is anyone left-handed? It's walking the thin line of adults only and kid-friendly. Ah, that's a good line. I want to read tarot in this room. I'm left-handed. All right. We got multiple teachers. We knew that we had that crowd. Thank you for being here. We got a left-handed person. What else do we need? Is anyone a veteran? If you're a veteran, holla in the chat so that we can buy this house. I'm obsessed with this room. I would make this my bedroom maybe actually. Also, like why is the, the wall slanted right there? Is that a feature or is that a favor in the house? What's happening here? Is this a hot tub? That's a hot tub. You guys, when are we moving in? What about student? Is anyone a doctor, specifically a super fun surgeon? Is this Dante's Inferno? Like, I'm stressed out. Bestie, it has four bedrooms. <laughs> How are we going to split this? We're going to cuddle. I love the wall titties. So it has four bedrooms, six bathrooms. I have debt. Can that help? <laughs> I'll sleep in the hot tub. I feel like we can work this out. So one, one of those bedrooms, you're saying it's four bedrooms, but let's... Let's go back and look. We can easily, easily sleep six people in this room comfortably. <laughs> Who wants the Michael Scott bench? I don't think that was this house. <laughs> to sleep on. This room is definitely six bedrooms in one. I'll sleep outside. We can make it work. Quarter Life Crisis has got the hot tub. <gasps> There's a pool area. Where is this again? This is in LA. It's so, like the weather in LA is so good. We can put those nice ass chairs out here and then we can have people sleep on the rooftop pool. Like we have the opposite of problems. We have so much space. If anything, I think we could take more people in this house. I have one of a single serve blueberry packets Starbucks gives you when you order oatmeal. That's the best I can do. We go to the realtor and we're like, all right, we have 65 people. All of us have bad credit. Most of us have debt. We have one packet of the oatmeal from Starbucks and we are ready to make a deal. We could host parties frat style, high cover charges for dudes. For girls, you're free. For straight men, it's $100. Anyone else you can be in. They should pay for it. This legit looks like BoJack Pool. Me and my boyfriend are watching BoJack right now. I actually really like it. This is a nice view. You guys, I want to live here. There, boom, two more bedrooms. Three, actually. We could easily fit so many people out here. I would redo these stairs. One is I love the fake grass. I love fake grass. You know, at least five tons of cocaine have been snorted in the stripper pole room alone. Thank you, Michael Jordan's toupee. This is our future home where we're going to raise our children that we're talking about. Jersey Shore rooftop vibes. Is that why I love fake grass? I have fake grass on my balcony. And I'm going to put it on my next one too. I love fake grass. It's like real grass, but cleaner. 
The layout of the stairs looks like a jungle gym. Yeah, we can definitely do better than this. And then we can grow stuff right here. I'm not going to say what stuff, but we can grow it. Boom. Sleeping for two. Three, honestly. Could push four, I think. Is that a camera or a light? I don't know which one would be more concerning, actually. This is the house. Bro, we need to move in. Oh, I see. There's the area. There's, I got it. Got it, got it, got it. Oh my God. Look at our house, you guys. We're a little close to the neighbors. Also, walking down these stairs while intoxicated is, I think, a death sentence. They brought the Karma Girls home, clean that hot tub. This was a set for adult films. This absolutely was a set for adult films. Y'all, this could totally work. We can fit in this house, I believe in us. <laughs> okay, let's look at some other shit. Here's another San Francisco one. Actually, I'm kind of bored of the San Francisco ones. I want to go, I want to go somewhere like, um, oh my God, is this the one? Oh my God, okay. I want to go somewhere a little like rednecky. We could send our enemies down those stairs. So this one, I was looking at a map of Florida and I put anything above $3 million in Florida and was just like looking in rural areas. Cause I was like, I want to see some of these weird ass rural areas that have these expensive houses and look at what I found. This is in Deland, Florida. I don't even know where that is. $3.79 million. It's three bedrooms and two bathrooms and 94 photos. 94 photos. Please do 30A. Oh, I knew I was forgetting something. I was like, where can I use? What place can I look? I'll do 30A. Also, I'm really enjoying this chatting one. I'm having a very fun time. I'm going to do these on Monday sometimes, I think. Um, okay, so let's look at these photos. At first, you're like, oh, it's a lake. It's a thing. What's That's weird. Red flag. Um, but you keep looking. Still getting weird. Still weird. You're like, all right. You have yet to show anything of a house. This is millions of dollars. Where is the property? Still, like, all we're seeing is gates. Cows. Okay. What is that? What is, is that a bird? And then is this the house? Question mark. Three point, almost, almost $3.4 million. Is this the Duggar property? It's a horse race thingy. Please tell me this isn't Joe Exotic's old place. <laughs> Stop. It's the trailer of the house. No, look, that's a structure. That's a structure right there. This is the house. This is the house. Maybe they host fall festivals, red flag. <laughs> why is, you might be like, Mr. Doctor, why are you showing this to us? Why is this $3.4 million? Babe, we're only on 12 of 94. It's a house, cool, comes with a lot of cars. It has a lake. Maybe that's why it's expensive is because of the lake. Nope, we keep going. Cows, cows. <laughs> cows this is the land you get a nice ass piece of land there's the house right there not one but two lakes you can see there's a little green pin of where we're at um some trees that are broken down it gets so much weirder some of these little storage sheds i'm still not seeing who did the math for this house i'm still not seeing why this costs 3.4 million dollars all right we're getting somewhere this looks very industrial this is some kind of facility again another thing all right fish camp i don't know if you can read that it says fish camp look it is a fishing like fish processing sink area and then let me just skip through these so we can get to the good stuff i hold 94 fucking photos of these so many pictures of just land space nothing absolutely nothing Oh my god, why are these not here? There it is. Raptor Airsoft is open Saturday and Sunday. You are not buying a house. You are buying a Redneck's Paradise. You can shoot guns here, I guess. Look, there are the cows. Egg shooting contests, cow feeding rides, family picnics, airsoft play, free water bottles. Um... So yeah, you're not, and then look, there are the little tents that they have where you shoot guns. You're not buying a house. You are buying a universe, if you will. You're buying an entertainment facility. You're buying an amusement park. 
This reminds me of the bait shop from the Princess Protection Program. This is Florida Dwight and Moe's. I knew y'all would have comments about this one. Um, there it is. Raptor Digital Indoor Shooting Range. Eight persons max capacity. <laughs> what is this? Should we buy this maybe? No shooting. You can see there's a dinosaur. I had to show y'all this because literally what is that? Oh my God, here's another one that has an annoying bathtub. Let me let you guys um, discuss what we just witnessed though. Come back. So focus on this and let us discuss this. Welcome to Jurassic Park, eight person max. We could expand on this one. Let, let me pull up, like, let me just scroll the list. <laughs> it's for sale, you guys. We can buy it today. So here's really, this is the good stuff right here. I want to read like the description and shit. Okay. This 160 acre ranch helps pay for itself with a lucrative airsoft business established. There are many amenities to appreciate. Notably, the farm has been outfitted by expert sportsmen and cattlemen located in Ocala National Forest. Oh, I bet that's also why it's expensive because the land is in Ocala National Forest. Um, half mile by half mile square, fully fenced, cross fence and de-stumped. If I'm spend if I'm spending three point eight million dollars, that land needs to be de-stumped. I'm sorry. If it's three point eight million dollars, the land needs to be de-stumped. I cannot believe they're selling businesses <laughs> real estate. <laughs> Way to bury the lead real estate person. I'm sorry. Who is this? Um, oh my God! It's been on sale for three hundred and two days. The custom layout and forming a land makes it ideal for traversing if you know your way around. The perfect blend of pasture, wooded areas, trails, roads, and 14 ponds. The water is stocked. Stocked? Did you drop them off? Do you have to restock it? What do you mean stocked? Like stocked by nature? You put them there. Like, are you... What? Facilities on site include commercial style metal building, covered loading dock, two 24 by 40 pole barns with eight inch slabs. This is how I know there's so much of the world that I don't know because I don't know what any of the fuck this means. Oh my God. Nine docks and 12 hunting towers, security gates, cameras, and lighting are installed. A turnkey farm combined with a growing business to call a patronage call today for a tour. Um, this is by Michael Crosby Jr. of Crosby Realty. There's his phone number if you would like to contact him. We can tour it tomorrow at 11 a.m. Are you guys down? If I leave tonight, I can totally make it there and still get a decent amount of sleep. If I leave right now, we can tour this home. I'll drive up. I'm down. Field trip. Everyone meet at 29540 Fullerville Road in Deland, Florida. I'm just kidding. No one go. I'm not going to be going. So if you go and you're expecting to see me, I will not be there. You will be sadly disappointed. <laughs> Call for a tour. I'll grab a bus and pick everybody up. Okay. Let's look in Dallas, in Texas. This is $6 million. This is in Lenox, Lenox Lane in Dallas, Texas. From the outside, it's giving Olive Garden. Debbie does Dallas. That is such a Texas house. You calling it a home? I hope Dallas is super trashy. And also, if you ever want to send me one of these, DM me on Twitter, DM me on Instagram. I have a link in my link tree. You can send them there, whatever. But if you have a trashy house and you want to bring it to the studio, you can. It literally looks like an Olive Garden. Like if I got out of the car, I'd be like, super salad. I love Olive Garden salad dressing. That shit is so fucking good. You know, this is one of my favorite snacks. This is what I used to eat all the time. I honestly forgot how much I used to eat this, and this is reminding me of it, so I'm going to start eating it again. Cucumber, like an English cucumber, a seedless one, chopped up like into quarter pieces. Um, cherry tomatoes, carrots. Sometimes I'll put other shit in there too. And then feta cheese and some of the Olive Garden dressing so good suburban orthodontist office vibes olive garden pit stop on our way to the land <laughs> when you're at olive garden you're home <laughs> okay so right off the bat this looks like a museum and i'm i don't mean that as a compliment like who died here literally who died here <laughs> quarter life crisis no 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 
We're Olive Garden on the outside, Dracula on the inside. Six million dollars and it's four bedrooms and seven bathrooms. So one thing people always say in my comments, people are always like, why does the house have so many more bathrooms than bedrooms? But like, I'm not opposed to that. You know, the house that I grew up in um, had like, how many bedrooms did the house that I grew up in have? The house I grew up in, I think it had like five bedrooms and like six bathrooms. It was a pretty big house because it was in like suburbia, you know? But I feel like having that ratio is not weird. Like this five to seven is not weird. Some of the ones that have been like five bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, that one's weird. But I don't think an extra bathroom is that weird. Sometimes it's because your sibling hogs the bathroom and prevents murder. Yeah, exactly. Like the bedroom that I had growing up was like bedroom, bedroom across with a bathroom in between. It wasn't a Jack and Jill. Like they didn't share a door. Like it had a hallway in between, but it was like two bedrooms to share a bathroom. Um, and like, sometimes it would be nice to have another bathroom if that one was occupied, you know? And it wasn't, we didn't use that room as a bedroom. My mom worked from home, so that was her office. But like sometimes, you know, people would stay in there, whatever. It's nice to have extra bathrooms around. Not to stereotype people. I can't imagine Southern Dallas Bell living in this. I know, right? Like I'm trying to imagine extra bathrooms are helpful when you have IBS singing, writing 27. Oh my God. I'm trying to imagine um, like a Texan living here and it's just not appearing for me. They have a baller wine cellar. Like this is money. That's the new money. What is this? This looks so weird. Like this is so specific. But one time when I was in Spain, I was studying abroad in college and I was in Spain. Oh my God, I'm so blind. Um, I was at, they took us to this thing and it was like, this was the stock market. But like back in the days, like it was like the stock market, but like, way before like we were us you know like it was like old shit like when people were there with like their little papers and shit like that and it looked like this it looked so much like this like the staircase the floor very weird it's legit giving william shakespeare play yeah it's weird indoor slip and slide area it's giving bridgerton ballroom like why is this when was this house built can we see that built in 1993 why? Why did you do this in the year 1993? I'm pretty sure like we were already very far past this. Like this is not what people were doing in 1993. Like we had computers, we had the internet then I think. Why would you ever do this? And like look at the ceiling. That's the thing that gets me. This was not cheap. Whenever people do weird shit to their house and I can tell it was to save money, I'm like, whatever, man. Like, we're all trying to save money at the end of the day. But this was expensive. You can tell. At least this one has personality. That's fair. That's a fair point. I'm a little mad they didn't stage it. So this is my theory. I think if your house is plain, you don't need to stage it. Because if your house is plain, like all white, very basic, no personality, people can envision themselves in it and people can envision their stuff in it. But if your house is something like this, People need like the support, like you, they, you need to stage it for people to envision themselves in it because like, I can't imagine myself living here. If they staged it really well and cool, maybe I could. The St. Louis arch. Yeah. Like <laughs> this looks like we're like a little kid's hiding spot. Literally. Is it supposed to be a fireplace? Look at the, look at the chandeliers. Oh my God. If someone locked these doors, I would go mental in here. I would absolutely freak the fuck out. This room is so scary looking. Like imagine someone just slams these giant doors shut and you're stuck in there. I can't suspend disbelief well enough to picture myself in this house. You know, like I can suspend disbelief pretty far, but I draw the line here. Today was a good day. I bellied my boyfriend into buying me expensive makeup. Congratulations, baby, Dre15. Babe, if you're watching this, let's take some notes. Actually, I don't wear makeup, so don't take notes, like literal notes, but you know what I mean. What a nice dungeon pick. Definitely 100% haunted. But it was built in 1993. It looks like it's haunted, but it was. it's a literally built in 1993. There's probably spices in my grandma's house that are older than this house. It's giving medieval times where the turkey legs are like the size of your head. Oh shit, I skipped one. That's more acceptable. This could be like a study or an office or whatever. Um, it's also, so like, this is not what an Olive Garden kitchen looks like, but this is what they want us to think an Olive Garden kitchen looks like. Do you get what I'm saying? 
Like, I know an Olive Garden kitchen does not look like this, and it looks disgusting. I know that for a fact. I've never been in one, but I don't need to be. I just know that. And this kitchen looks like what an Olive Garden would want us to think is happening in their kitchen. Like, with this stonework, is reminding me of the outside of the house and this little grate thingy. This kitchen is a lot more Texas. I saw your comment, quarter life prices. That is a lot more Texas. Would it be better if the ceiling wasn't reflective? Can you make this Google Drive shareable one with all the links to the listings? So I actually have like, yeah, I'll figure it out. So you can, um, you can submit a listing. I have like a Google form in my link tree, but I can figure out a way to post these. I'll add it to my link tree. This is so American to me. Where are you from? This is a very American looking kitchen. I don't like these stools. I hate those stools. Oh my God. It just gets weird. This house is just weird. Look at this bedroom. Ugh, it's awkward. Oh, Canada. The sink looks ugly. I can't describe. I'm from America and this is jarring to me. They need a big fork on the wall with the word eat. Every white household has to have, um, you know, obvious kitchen signage. This, okay, this is the tub. This is originally why I like started this. This is easily 18 inches long. This tub ledge is easily a foot and a half long. Imagine getting in and out of this tub. Please imagine that for me. Um, like my body would have to roll out onto the floor and there's a step right here. This is the most dangerous bathtub I've ever seen in my life. I cannot see myself getting in and out of that. I'm at high spidery milk. You were roller skating. Welcome. I forgive you for being late. I cannot imagine getting in and out of this tub. This seems very, very stressful. One time my aunt stole a giant fork from a crackhead and my grandma displayed it never knowing its origin. Oh my God. Imagine that tub plus the mirrors from the other bathroom. I don't want to imagine that. That's scary. Trying to get a towel after a bath would be miserable. It's literally you naked and afraid. And it's in this giant room. I feel like being naked in this giant bathroom with wooden ceilings would just be even more overwhelming. And I feel like everybody's looking at me and everyone can see me and I'm so vulnerable with this giant bathtub in front of a huge window. Imagine like my mom is white and she married into our Mex into a Mexican family so our, our sign says kitchen in Spanish. Your mom said I'm gonna be in this marriage but I'm bringing my culture with me. Live, laugh, love, aggressive. I feel like I'd break my neck and no one would ever find me in this giant bathroom. Imagine standing there naked trying to get out of this tub. Like imagine, I'm going to get up so you can see this. Like imagine you're just in this tub and you're like fully trying to get out of it. And then you look and someone's just outside. Someone's just outside that window, like an inch from the window staring at your body trying to get out of this bathtub. The mirror allows you to see the room safety measures. Oh my God. Oh my God, here's an even more close up pick of the bathtub. That's even worse than I thought. That literally is worse than I thought with the giant window. And that's house right there. Like what if someone's outside when your bathroom is scarier than your dungeon? <laughs> Thank you for recognizing how wide this is because Obviously, the one with the faucet is absolutely unacceptable. I don't think anyone's getting out this way. But even this one, that's easily a foot and a half because those are three full-sized bath towels stacked together. You'd have to crawl across the ledge. <laughs> Jumping out the window would be easier than getting out normal. I feel like if you're right one the ledge is literally smaller the one to outside imagine your naked neighbor is this neighbor getting out of their bathtub like imagine every time you look outside your neighbor is just like butt ass naked walking to their front door and you're just like what are they doing and they're like oh this is how i get out of the tub this is a big ledge, so it's just easier to go the long way around. Imagine scooting your wet ass across that wide ass ledge. You're right. Are these stairs? What's happening here? I wish this was one of like I wish the 
They need to add a mandatory feature on Zillow where it's like a video game where you can like run through. Like that's how I want to be a Twitch streamer. This is how I want to do my Twitch games. Like I want it to be like Fortnite where I have my little character running, but I just get to run through all of these houses. The faucets aren't even centered. Yeah, I feel like the faucet, like either put it on the corner or don't. You know, it's like the in-between that's awkward. This house is just mad awkward. It's like, oh, we had time for this fucking chandelier and these window drapes, but no time to stage a table. No one could find a table. Oh my God. Look at this room. Imagine your boss asks to talk to you. <laughs> oh my God. You could leave a snail trail. <laughs> I hate those drapes, the curtains. Imagine finding out at the blog party that all the neighbors have talked about you and your whole t and your tub the whole time. Now this is giving Bridgerton phase of phobia update where you can tour Zillow houses haunting is optional. So like imagine your boss is like, I want to talk to you in private. And then you come into the room and it's this, I would shit my pants. Also, I love how this room is like straight out of the 1800s with this modern ass regular ceiling fan. They're like, it's giving Bridgerton, but a normal ceiling fan. Just pop a normal ceiling fan up on there. What's this? Is this the kitchen? Do we already see the? Oh yeah. We already saw the kitchen. What is that? What, wait, you're, you can't do that and not show a close-up of that. What is that? What is, okay, I hate this. Wait, what? Why is there two photos, one with furniture and one without? Is this like a wet bar? Is this a kitchen? You can't just not show a close-up of that. In Texas, they need a fan. I know they need a fan, but I feel like they could have made it more like aesthetic. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. I thought it was an inside gazebo. Like, I think it's a bar is what I'm guessing. I think it's like a kitchenette bar thing. This is a more appropriate tub. This tub seems manageable to get in and out of. I really like this shower. I feel like this bathroom is giving the vibe that the person that built this house had an intern and that intern was normal. Like the person who built this house was fucking crazy, but their intern was normal. And they were like, Chris, you're normal. You can be in charge of this one bathroom. And they were like, fucking thank God. So a normal person did get to say, have somewhat of a say in this bathroom, which is why it's a little more normal than the rest of it. Ultimately, the insane boss still got the final say about, you know, the tile, this weird light fixture. But this one's more normal. I'm irritated that they didn't put double sinks because they absolutely have room for it. If anything, I think it's extremely awkward that there's only one sink here. Could have done two sinks. I feel like, does the door look really skinny or am I crazy? I think it, I think one, it's skinny. Two, it's like a wide angle camera thing to like make the room look longer. Um, so I think it's both. I don't think you're crazy. The door doesn't match the rest of the bathroom. Yeah, it does not. Jesus, you could do a triple sink. You could, like you have tons of space here. Why does a shower have to be that big with no bench? You're right. The shower could use a bench. You can always get that later though. Like they make like wood ones and shit. Only one shower head. And that's a dinky shower head too. It's not even a good one. Like you can, my shower head is a big one and it was only $55. Like you could have gotten a better one. Put a cloth bench in, needs a rain head. <laughs> not the cloth bench in the bathroom. I would be so uncomfortable in this room. I would feel like I was going to become like ev evaporate into a ghost if I had to sleep in here. I hate these chairs with these rolly things. They just look like daunting. This pool is kind of a vibe though. I love like a natural looking pool. This house feels like a theme park. Hear me out. Michael Scott shower bench. It's a pool. I don't even think it's a lake. I think it's like a filtered pool. You can see it has a little like hose guy in it. I bet it's like the little vacuum cleaner. See, the pool is nice. I vibe with the pool. Big yard. That's cool. But overall, it's a weird fucking house. No, I'm not interested in touring this home. Oh my God, this one, I unironically really liked it. Like, I really like this house. This is $5.1 million. This is in Scottsdale, Arizona. I've heard people in Scottsdale are apparently assholes, but I really like this house. Hugh Hefner pool vibes. Per material girl, only 55. <laughs> Scorpions live in Arizona. Fuck that. Breaking Bad, Mexico vibe. Y'all are bringing up all the shows that me and my man are watching. We're watching Breaking Bad right now, and we're watching Bojack Horseman, and we have brought up both of those things. My work wife is from Arizona. All the gate is cute. I really like this house. I think it's very nice. It's very like, this is how I would do a house. I like this style. A lot of people don't like it and make fun of it, but I like it. 
Okay, so one, this couch is not the most comfortable looking thing in the world, but this does look like it was set up that like you can sit here and enjoy yourself. And I like this big ottoman. I like an ottoman. I think they're comfy. I like these beams in the ceiling. The old distressed wood is cool. I also like this basket blanket thing. It's kind of a vibe. This fireplace is cool. I love all these windows. Icebreaker, how many squares are in that room? One, two, three. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you sit through that. Um, I like how open this is, but it's still like separated. I like the light fixture and the art that they chose. I think the art is really good because it kind of mimics the pool. Like you see, you have the blues out there and then it's like reflected back in that art, which is pretty. It's very open. It's going to be, it's going to be a greenhouse in there. So the one thing is I would, this would not be a vibe of a house if you had like a lot of people sharing one space because you wouldn't really have privacy. Like if someone's working in the living room like you're gonna be able to hear them everywhere so like this would not be a house where like a lot of people are having to share space you know what i mean i could see that becoming a problem i like these bar stools normally bar stools look very uncomfortable but these look pretty comfortable again this chair does not look uncomfortable could be better not bad but at least it has arms and a back and a pillow um i would have gotten a bigger tv get that tv going edge to edge baby but yeah i like it again these chairs kind of look uncomfortable. They look like they should be outside like lounge chairs, not dining room table chairs. These little orb alien fixtures, they're like the colors match and the lines match, but I feel like they're just a little bit weird. No blinds at all. Um, maybe they have like that thing that comes out of the ceiling. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like the shirt. My mom has that. It's nice. This is cool. That that art, it's kind of like fun and young, you know? Oh my God, it's like all the pictures are the same shit. Again, I like these bar stools. These would get dirty as a motherfucker because they're in a kitchen, but I do like them. I like the kitchen. The cords not being straight is really not sitting well with my spirit. Like it's really not sitting well that the cords aren't straight, but I do like this island. This also kind of looks CGI'd. Like it does look a little CGI-esque, this kitchen especially. Maybe it's not real. Like the living room looked real, but this one looks CGI which is weird. Um, also, I love this giant pantry. So you might be like, there's not that much storage in this kitchen. They don't have a ton of, there actually is a shit ton of storage. But you're like, oh, they don't have like a big ass area in this kitchen. Look, look at this. The light looks hella animated. The outlet's on the island. The waterfall edge is nice, right? Look at their pantry. This is so nice. They have this wine fridge here. They have another sink. They have a microwave. They have all these like snack bullshit things. This is so nice. See, I told you guys this one was good. I told you this one was a good house. Again, these chairs look like actually pretty comfortable bedroom chairs. Like I could see myself sitting there talking, having a drink, whatever. I feel like I'm watching it in VR. You got an exercise bike here. This art, this lamp reminds me of a spider. I don't like that. What's this? Oh, these are the doors to the bathroom. That's kind of weird, but whatever. Double sinks. Is that a sink on this side, though? Could, this could just be a vanity. If they only have one sink, I'm going to be mad. Bathtub, that looks pretty easy. Oh, my God. Bench. Bench. Look at that bench in the shower. Bathtub, that is a deep and seems easy to get in and out of. Praying mantis light. Let's go back to the praying mantis light. That is a praying mantis light. That's the perfect way to describe it. Thank you. Peloton does fit. We can tell the Peloton does fit. Plus, the shelf built into the shower. I see. So these are those weird doors. This is the bathroom that's like right off the owner's bedroom. Uh, yeah, the shelf, the bench, we love. Okay, good. It is a double sink. This is a perfect double sink because not only is it a double sink, you also don't have to share any counter space. No fighting because you're not sharing. Everyone has their own sink. Incredible. Also, I like this closet. I like that the closet is inside the bathroom too. Did I remember praying mantis on Buffy the vampire? You scared me as a kid. You're, no, I don't think I ever watched that show. Your own drawers and your own sink. Exactly. It looks like this one's bigger. It might just be the angle. I'm a little annoyed they didn't do a better job of cleaning up. But, you know, I, I don't work here. This is nice. This table is confusing me. Are these benches or is this the table? But these look, look pretty good. I like this, like, stucco very Arizona. This looks like a Kim Kardashian chair. Oh my God. Look at this laundry room. 
I am living for this laundry room. So when they have this little pet cam thing, double washer, double dryer, all these fucking drawers, mud room right here, sink right there, baskets. Oh my God. Oh my God. And it's the entryway. So you can make your, your little bitch ass kids drop all their dirty shit. Once again, we all split the cost. It seems affordable. I'm ready to give them all my money. Literally, if I was a mother and I lived in this house, my children would come in this door every day. I will make them strip all their nasty school clothes off right here. Because you know little kids come back from school like, what's on you? Why, why are you so dirty right now? I'll be like, all of it right here in the basket. You can go into my home now. Like, leave school dirt right here. I want this for my single ADHD ass dying over the mudroom laundry room. I know, I'm literally obsessed with it. I like the wallpaper that they did too. Like it's really busy, but it's like subtle still, you know? And I like how these are drawers. That's a nice touch. And then you have a little cubby for each person. You got a hook for each person. This house was designed by a woman. I can tell. Right, and this is another big ass room. This room has a wine fridge in it. Oh, this is cute. I like this bed for like a teenage girl. Who, who designed this house? I like it. <gasps> oh, I love this bathroom. We need to discuss this bathroom. Us, lots of people couldn't live here for privacy. Also, us. okay, so if we all split it, I would kill for a fridge in my room. I never got dirty in school in elementary school, after school, sure. Really, I feel like when I taught little kids, they were always getting dirty outside and like spilling food on themselves and shit. But I also taught really little kids. I need to, someone needs to discuss this bathroom with me. It's very busy. I like it though. I would have only done this print on this wall. I would have done the print here and then I would have done white everywhere else. Actually, no, that's a lie. I would have only done the print on the back wall behind the mirror and I would have done white everywhere else. The bathroom's a lot, but I love this picture and I love the leaf pattern. I'm annoyed that they didn't do a better job on this tapestry. Sports. This is for men. Another double sink. This one you don't get your own counter, so that sucks office another good bathroom oh i like this tile a lot this bathroom tile on the ground is pretty big ass garage oh my god it's an rv garage oh <gasps> stop they're trump supporters <gasps> oh my god you guys they're trump supporters do you see that do you see that do you see that <gasps> no no no. Oh my God. I told y'all I didn't look at these. It was going so well. Y'all, can y'all back me up that this house did not have Republican energy? <coughs> it's Arizona, so I should have guessed. Fuck this house. I hate this house. The dream is dead. The dream is dead. They are Trump supporters and they have the old timey gas station thing like the one I posted about earlier today. It literally says Trump 2020, no more bullshit. Y'all saw how I spotted that shit. Y'all saw how I saw that tiny ass flag. Y'all saw that? My eyes are always peeled. My eyes are always fucking peeled. It feels like a Democrat wife and a Republican husband. Oh my God. B49, you're right. <gasps> that's totally what it is. Oh my God, that's absolutely what happened. I've created this story. This is now a fact in my brain. Bro, my f at work, we saw a huge Trump parade float by. I had to serve the driver and his friend. Ugh. So I bet what happened is it is like a like an apolitical wife. Someone that's like, my friends are gay. Love is love. Whatever. But in reality, behind closed doors is like not chill. I bet it's that kind of wife who like doesn't vote and like is like, oh my God, Trump is so vulgar. You shouldn't support him. But like actually doesn't give a shit. She decorated the house. And then this is the husband's garage. And the realtor was like, you should take that fucking Trump sign down. And he was like, you're, you think you're going to censor me? And they're from Arizona. I don't know why I'm doing a Southern accent. He was like, you think you're going to censor me in my home where I live? I don't, if someone's not okay with Trump, they don't need to buy this house. And that's what happened was distracted and tamed back. Av average Tay, we have so much to catch up on. Holy shit. So we've been looking at this house. We've been loving this house. Let me just show you how much we've been loving this house. Like we've been loving this house. We've been obsessed. And then we get outside. We look at the garage. I my eyes are always peeled. What is that? What is that? We zoom in. Trump 2020. No more bullshit. This is disgusting. <gasps> This, some of their ATVs look really fun. I'm not going to lie. 
They met at ASU and moved to Scottsdale. They were both in Greek life. <laughs> Rebecca is apolitical and got the dream house. Alan is Arizona right wing. <laughs> the ATVs look fun. I will, I will grant them that. The ATVs look fun. I draw the line at their political affiliation. Um, Rebecca does have phenomenal taste in outdoor furniture, though. She might be a bigot, but this is a nice patio setup. Okay, but the RV seems nice. It's so tainted now. I know. We have to stop looking at this one. Last one, we'll look at the pool. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. We deserve it. Oh, and they have putt-putt. The worst people get the best stuff, I swear. Um... Oh my God. So this one is giving like this person wants to be a Miami millionaire. Like they want to be living it up, living their South Beach, Miami millionaire lifestyle in Kissimmee, Florida. Also, they just cut the price by 50 K. Also, if y'all didn't know the real estate market's about to crash, just a PSA. Um, we need a redemption. We're probably not going to get redemption in Kissimmee, Florida. I'm not going to lie. Um, Eight bedrooms, 12 bathrooms. This is one where you will get me on the bathroom count. Like the bathroom count, and this one's a little fucking ridiculous. But this person, they wish as they lived in Miami. They live in Kissimmee, Florida, so they decorated their home like they live in Miami. Because the outside does not match the inside at fucking all. So if you look, this is very much giving Central Florida. This is giving new money of Central Florida. Yeah, new money of Central Florida. Absolutely. The golf course, and then you get inside. Why are we in a... They're Miamians who moved closer to Disney. Why are we in a hotel lobby? Why is this entryway a hotel lobby? What's happening? Why is there a grand piano? So if it's about to crash, should I be saving for a house? Yes, a real talk, actually. So I work at a real estate brokerage. So this is like something that I actually have to like go to meetings about and shit. And basically, it's not going to crash. So it's not going to crash the way it did in 2008. But things are going to get cheaper and it's going to get like mortgage rates are going up. So housing prices are going to go down. So if you want to buy a house, prices are probably going to start to drop like next year, apparently, is what I heard. So strong disney adult vibe the marble floor is truly screaming new money bro this chandelier the marble floor also i like i don't mean this insulting because i love home goods i'm pretty sure this is from home goods and i'm pretty sure my mom has this like i'm pretty sure of it like this is not a home like if i came to someone's house and this is what it so the bubble will slowly lose air instead of pop yeah basically it's not going to be like oh my god mortgages are crashing just because like our systems work really differently now than they used to in 2008 but it's going to be like a thing like prices are going to kind of go down and yeah i love the balcony so much i'd throw shit down all the time this is a reality tv set it does look like a reality tv set also like okay you have the piano and then these two chairs directly behind it like do they just like pat the back of the person playing the piano does it come with the piano is that why there's this close-up of the piano like this is so new money you guys are right this is giving disney adult look at this chandelier this is this chandelier with these drapes are aggressively disney adult aggressively disney adult energy Fingers crossed it crashes enough so I can buy a condo before my lease is up. Yeah, so my lease is up in July, and I definitely can't buy something by July, but I think I'm going to try and buy something next July, maybe. I don't know. And one of my agents said, he was like, he was like, um, in the area that I live in, or the area that I want to buy in is kind of a touristy area. So he was like, a lot of people have studios and one bedroom says so Airbnb investment properties. So he was like, when people need cash, they're going to sell those. Um, so he said that like the one bedrooms he thinks will be cheaper in this area, but I don't fucking know. He could have just been talking to make me feel better. It's 100% awkward Miami private school kid who moved to be closer to Disney. Once a year, that room clears out and throw all the plates and glass. Who needs a couch that long? This is a long-ass couch. Like, you could easily lay, like, three people on this. The kitchen's nice, though. I like the layout of this kitchen. It's a big-ass fridge and freezer. Love that. There's two dishwashers. Two dishwashers. Four ovens. One, two, three, four. Is this a water thing? Are these freezers? I don't really know what that is. T huge range. I hate this backsplash. What is happening? This is so overwhelming to look at. Why would they make the backsplash like that? You like and dislike the color of the cabinets. <laughs> Why are the cabinets so high? Who can reach those? 
And I don't like the cabinet pulls either. I, these are really like aggressive. See what I mean? Like it's Miami meets Disney. You know, for when you just need two, what is this? Two, four, five. Okay, five here, four here, nine, 10, 11. Just when you have casually 11 people to sit down for a meal. Five bar stools. Look how long that couch is. That couch is like 12 feet long. Oh my God. So many close-ups of the light fixtures. <laughs> this just looks awkward to sit in. Like it just looks inhospitable and like awkward. Too white, it's so reflective. Me building a Sims house at age 16. At some point, like how is it comfy to live there? Maybe I'm too poor to get it. That's how I feel. Like I would not be comfortable here. I'm genuinely convinced I built this in seams. Why do you need a fireplace in Florida for the aesthetic? to make it romantic. Oh, these couch cushions. That's a lot. That's a lot that is going on with these couch cushions right now. <laughs> I don't like it. Also, like, was the four light fixtures necessary? That's a Disney pool resort vibe. Exactly. Is this a house for the Duggars? <laughs> like, I don't, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting the vision. And then you have this big open area. You could put something here, put like a ping pong table put like a big dining table to eat outside. I like the color of the cushions. I'm glad. It's a little aggressive for me. I'm more of a low key person. People with five, with like five relatives lives here, but my family tries to squeeze 20 plus people in a 1400 square feet every Thanksgiving. Is that a chain link fence around the pool? I don't think so, is it? Let's investigate. What is that? Why does this couch have a door? Can anyone answer that? What is that for? What does that lead to or away from? Um, I don't like that the couch has a door. Hidden safe, perhaps? Weird. How do these work? Is this like concrete? What material is this? Good bed bath ratio, I give them that. OMG for a cat. <laughs> the pool is nice. I feel like this house also has Republican energy if we're being honest. No, I don't think it's a chain link fence. I think it's like a screen fence. I like the sunbathing chairs. Yeah. I like the deck furniture. I just don't like the cushion colors, personally. These are better. I like these stripey ones a lot better. Disney vibes would make it Republican y. <laughs> this is a better room. That's a much better room. Ugh. I'm kind of tired of this house. I'm ready to move on. We'll still like one or two more. Oh my god, here's one in Lexington, Kentucky. I feel like this one's going to be bad. $8.9 million rushing with the lane in Lexington, Kentucky. Six bedroom, nine bathrooms. Bro, look at that grass. You know how they have Little Mermaid playing on the loop? <laughs> There's like 10K houses like that last one. Yeah, there really are. I'm sorry, $8.9 million to live in Kentucky. Can someone please acknowledge how fucking pristine this grass is, though? Look at that. Look at the lines. That's a big ass driveway. What do they do there? The derby, so much mowing. The only person that can afford this is Mitch McConnell. Is this Mitch McConnell's house? Does anyone know Mitch McConnell's address? I don't mean to dox Mitch McConnell on here, but like this better be on the Kentucky Derby property. Look at the geese. Geese are menaces, though. Okay, so here's an aerial view of this house. <laughs> Let me inside. I just want to see the inside. Um, this is these chairs are really fucking far apart. You could not have a conversation here. The geese are the real estate agent. This doesn't feel right. I'm with you, Christina. This house like something's off. Something is something is sinister in the energy here. It's giving plantation. Something bad happened here. You can tell. You can really tell. Um, these chairs also make me very uncomfortable <laughs> giving me Appalachian Midsummer. I haven't seen that. These chairs like are way too fucking far apart to be conducive to a conversation. It's like council circle. Hi, Mr. President 111. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Um, oh my God. Can we fucking go inside, please? Look, that is literally like 20 feet apart. You're not going to tell me that that person can hear that person, especially for you to have this much money in Kentucky. You have to be 100 years old. So I know that this is not conducive to that. It's right next to U of L. Is that a balcony? I think this is a balcony from like upstairs. My guess is it's like from a bedroom. I want to go inside. 
Thank you. I like the doors. I like that they did the doors teal. That's kind of pretty. Um, is this wood or is this wallpaper? I'm kind of confused about what material that is, but the staircase, interesting. I'm not loving this rug. Also, is this a bench that's underneath a table? That is very awkward. I'm, what material is this? Like, it looks like wood, but I think it might be wall wallpaper that's, like, mimicking wood. Is that a llama? <laughs> it's giving Antietam wannabe. Respectfully, it's giving outpatient rehab for one preventer. It's a frat house. Reminds me of a barn. <laughs> Like, God, I feel like they're showing a lot of pictures of the same shit. What are these lighting rings? These, like, fire circle things. This, this also, like, this is giving outdated country club. Like, this is very much giving outdated country club. This furniture, this rug, like, this is giving, like, an old hotel. Like, an old golfing resorty hotel. Is this a sorority house? I think it might be. And, like, these light fixtures are weird. This chair looks pretty comfortable. I'll get them there. They did get more modern pillows in here. You can tell that, like, this realtor was, like, doing the best with what they had available to them. Um, they didn't have much available to them, clearly. This is a giant table. This might be dark, but, like, this looks like a table that someone would perform surgery in during the Civil War. Look, I feel like someone got their arm amputated on that table. Absolutely. They have a daughter named McKinley. <laughs> I think it's a big ass mirror. Why are there two tables? I think this is like an ottoman. Like this is like you can sit on it or put your feet on it. I don't know. Uh, my head just started to start really. My head started to hurt really bad. That's unpleasant for me. I don't like this. This doesn't match. It literally looks like this was a typo. This bar looks like the typo of this house. My other crying redacted. That's a giant fucking mirror, damn. I think I missed the giant mirror. Oh, yeah. that's I see what you're saying now. Oh, the light fixtures were in the mirror. You're right. I thought that was like a doorway back. My dumb ass. I did not realize this was even the same room. I'm an idiot. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Like, I will say, I like this bar area. Like, I think this is done very well. It just doesn't match the rest of it in any way, shape, or form. And it's very awkward. This is ugly. I like someone in the chat. This is ugly. Um... We took a turn. So, like, I don't really see how we went from this to this to this. This is giving modern art. This is giving an art student's apartment. I don't hate this wall. I like the pillows with this wall. Is it something that I would do in my house personally? No, it is not. Is it the worst part that we've seen so far? Not really. Maybe rich people just have too much choice and get confused easily. I get decision paralysis, so sometimes I feel like I can get that. Or I'd be like, I don't fucking know. And then I just pick a bunch of random shit and be like, that's fine, I guess. Whatever. <clears throat> like, it just doesn't... Like, how does this piece go with this wall, go with this table? And like, like this table, this couch, and these chairs, I don't like them, but they fit together with this wall. But then you get to like this table and then this piece, that this like table with these old ass like cups on them and like little fucking, what is that, like a kettle? And then with this mirror, like it's, I'm just not seeing the vision. I'm not getting it. I painted my whole room white one time because I couldn't decide on a color and I regretted it. So my favorite color to paint a room, it's a, I can't remember the brand, but it's called Bubble. I want to say it's Sherwin-Williams and it's like almost white with like a hint of blue in it. And I think it's gorgeous. And I love that color on a room. Um, did like the husband and wife each split up a room. The husband designed the old gross shit. The wife did the more modern, maybe, or maybe it's vice versa. You never know. Like, I just don't get it. This is awkward. This furniture looks like it's from a Holiday Inn. Like, this table looks like it's from a Holiday Inn conference room. It does look like a hotel. It's weird. Group project when no one looked at what the others were doing. Also, what is this light fixture? It looks like a bucket. It's like, all right, you got the bucket light fixtures. And what is this? Is this an elephant candle holder? I just have so many questions and the longer I look at it, the more questions I have. And again, like this is really cute. I really like this. It does not match anything else in the house. I don't understand. Stop, I worked at a holiday and our branding was really like that wall. Everything we see confuses me. The more we look, the more confused I am. Truly, very confused. 
Like I like the blue and the gold. I like these kind of leafy looking backsplash. It's cool. This one's not that bad. These chairs look pretty comfortable. The green is kind of random. I'm not living for that. <clears throat> so they have a lot of storage. I will grant them. Oh no. Oh no. I want to move on to another house. This one makes my head hurt. My head hurts too. So we're actually, you're right. We are going to move on. That was like, I feel like no one acknowledged that though. That was aggressive. Burn those curtains. Bad, 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 bad. It's giving home sense. It got worse. I don't know how it got worse. Like I didn't think it could get worse and then it got worse. What is this? These are ribbons. What are these from? What is this? I don't even know what that, those, are these prize ribbons for the home, for a person that lives in the home? Like I said, the longer I look, the more questions I have. Okay, we're moving on. This one hurts my house. We're going to do one more, and then I might have to go, because my head just started to hurt, like, really, I don't know where. They won the Kentucky Derby. They are the Kentucky Derby. Um, let's look at this one. I wrote, it's giving night at the museum. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about this one. This is in Paradise Valley, Arizona. <laughs> this does not look like a house. This looks like an office building. <laughs> it's $22 million and it's three bedrooms and seven bathrooms. Imagine paying $22.5 million for three bedrooms. It's like you can only have two friends sleep over. Your house was $22 million. You can have two people over. Maximum. And it's that large. Let's see what the space is because if it's not... If it's not bedrooms, then what is it? How is this three bedrooms? Look at this house and tell me it's three bedrooms. Where's the rest? Okay, so it looks like we have a lot of square footage of pool chairs just around various things. So it looks like our hot tub is here, which is awkward. I don't like the hot tub is like a fucking mile away from the pool. We got a, a fire square, another fire square. Um, very interesting, very public house. Like if, if anyone has a drone, they will know everything about you immediately. This pool looks comically small. I feel like it's probably actually big. It just looks small because the rest of the house is huge. So they could have made it bigger, you know, don't ever fuck outside. <laughs> nah, that's a six bedroom, but they're all probably rec rooms that shouldn't be. Bro, if rich people love one thing, it's making rooms that should be bedrooms, other rooms. Why does it remind me of Joel Steen? <laughs> so first off the bat, I'm not loving the art of this home. I'm not really here for that. Like um, this random naked statue, very awkward. Um, don't love this very ominous hallway. Like it literally just looks like a museum. Like if I walked in here, I'd be like, am I late for this event? This really is night at the museum. It looks like a strip mall. Like it's literally drunk. I would knock the statue over drunk. I would be like, what is up girl? How are you feeling tonight? I feel good personally. Like I would, I'm a lady. <laughs> it's giving Bond villain. What book is this by Fletcher Benton? They're like, make sure you get a pick of the fake lilies. It's important. I don't understand. Like, it just doesn't look like a space where people would be. And what's the fascination with the pianos and the lilies and these trees? Like, are you going to have a four person conversation on this side of the living room? And then these other people are having a completely different conversation over here. Like this space just seems really awkward to live in. No, once again, hotel lobby. Is it just that rich people are always in? Maybe this is what it is. I think I figured it out. Anyone feel free to clip this. I think the problem is that rich people don't have any friends. So all of the social events they go to are at hotels and event spaces and not people's homes because they don't have any genuine friendships. So they're not just going to hang out in anyone's house. So the only exposure of like other space they've had is event spaces and hotel lobbies. So they're like, that must be what people's houses look like. So that's what my house should look like because they're all partying in these two fancy places and they're not just like coming over to somebody's house. So they think this is normal, but then we look at it and we're like, why are you living in a hotel lobby? That looks so uncomfortable. Maybe that, maybe I've cracked the code. Is this the same room arranged differently? 
I think it is. Is it? Yeah, because that's the... Don't do this. It should be illegal to rearrange the furniture in a listing presentation. I think the house is all one room. Where do, the, where do you get to relax in these rich people houses? Because it ain't the living room or the bathtub. <laughs> no relaxing, just working. This is a vibe. I like this bedroom. Again, it's giving hotel. Like this is, this literally looks like a hotel. Like if I walked into this room, I'd be like, this hotel is really nice. Wow. My main takeaway is eat the rich and take the houses. We need to redesign them because they don't deserve them. I would put a better fan in here. But again, it just looks like a fancy hotel. It's awkward. So much glass. I like this kind of like bar sink area. You got a fireplace that's pretty cool. I don't love their pool furniture, but I like... See, the pool, it is small. You're right. For how big the house is. The bar made it more hotel. If you want to hurt a rich person, give them a house with personality. <laughs> what is this room? Is this a bathroom? Is, the, is this in a, if there is another couch in a bathroom, so help me God. It's a five-star hotel, but a one-star home. That should be the title of this series, a five-star hotel, but a one-star home. <laughs> Not a couch in the potty. Like, I can get on board with a TV in the bathroom. I'm with you there. An upholstered couch? No. Also, like, this is overwhelming. I don't like the, all the stone looks like this. And, like, this shower is kind of giving prison. And then there's, like, this translucent towel rack. And I feel like if I had soap in my eyes, I wouldn't be able to find my towel. And I'd just be, like, walking into this stone. And it would just be really, really un unpleasant to be a part of it. For what reason is there a couch in the bathroom? I don't know why they keep doing this to us. I don't understand closet huge damn this is a big ass gym we got this mirror all around this bothers me that this the back of this tv is being presented in this way you could have photoshopped that out you could have put a logo over that you could have hung a towel on it there's so many things you could have done to make it not look like that you could take the picture from a different angle there's three bedrooms they do not need that many plates. <laughs> I think this is a party house. Maybe this is like the post-party workout the next day in case 20 people want to work out at the same time. We're prepared for it. Again, this is awkward. Like this furniture placement. Like, are you going to have two people sitting across from each other here and then two other people sitting across from each other here not talking? Like like a former residential treatment facility. Why do they have this kind of gym? This is for sweating the coke out of your system. This house is just awkward. I also appreciate that they blurred out their children's photos. They were like privacy before everything. I respect these parents for that. Why are there office chairs? I think this is like an office, I guess. I don't know. But I feel like even in a home office, you make it like nicer. This is creepy. This is literally so creepy. I would feel so watched in this house. Shocking, there's pics of a family on display. No, literally. Hotels have gyms. They know that homes don't have that many weights. Blur out the kids so no one bullies them for how ugly your house is because I'll bully your kids. I would feel so seen in this house like because it's all glass and the house is so dark. If the lights are on inside, you can literally see like everything that a person's doing. If you want to get to the desk chair, you'd have to scoot across the desk. <laughs> Wait, let me go back to that. You're right. This is like not that... <laughs> Awful. like you'd have to have your ass really like on that desk you know what I mean Ugh. but I would feel like everyone could see me in this house I'd feel uncomfy I don't like it like fine I'd feel fine boom everyone can see me everyone can see me and everyone's looking at me the stalker POV that's what this photo is this is the stalker POV they should have put like a person like right here like subtly drinking wine Rosalind Michael score doing parkour. What kind of books are in the office? Let's go back and look. Zoom? No. Come back. Is it going to let me zoom? It's hard to tell. This one's about art. Oh, they didn't blur these pics out. They did not blur all the pics out. What's going on here? These are old. Is that your grandpa? <laughs> This is so creepy. You cannot have sex anywhere in this house because you're always being watched. Literally. Looks like they have art books. These look like, I don't know, like old boring shit. These look like encyclopedias or something that, I don't know, just like rich people books. I keep my books in a crate. Um, 
I like the Coca-Cola. They're like the wine cellar, but also a half empty thing of strawberry daiquiri mix and three boxes of zero sugar Coca-Cola for the listing photos. They had to buy a book about art because they have no taste. For $22 million, why don't they have curtains? I'm still stuck on $22 million with three bedrooms. Kitchen. Did we already see a kitchen? I feel like we already saw a kitchen. We've looked at so many houses. This is nice. This area I can vibe with. This, this like downstairs room. Love an outdoor kitchen. Do not like these chairs, but I love an outdoor kitchen. They could have done so much better than this. Like they have this little rinky dink table with like four fucking chairs at it. They could have done a big ass table. They could have done like a bar right here. The chairs look CGI. How do you have so many books on art and have zero grasp of interior design? That's the fucking million dollar question. Like the views here are nice. This is a nice place. <clears throat> if I had unlimited money... I can make this place real nice. It seems like they're really trying to display the outside because they know the inside is so bad. What is this? Like a little downstairs apartment for like a child that just never really made it onto their own two feet. I want a downstairs apartment for free. Look at this sink. I feel like to wash my, I'm short. So to wash this um, hands, wash my hands in the sink, I'd literally have to be like, Like, it would be very difficult. Um, doo -doo -doo. This is the house. This is the house is the set for a rich white lady that gets stalked and then fights the stalker at the climax of the movie. How do you clean in that sink? It's just so textured. Yeah, this sink does not seem really, like, practical, to be honest. Like, it just looks like an office park. Like, this looks like a doctor's office complex. Like, this looks like I would get here and I'd be like, oh, I guess I'm about to get a pap smear. That's what this entryway looks like to me. All right. Let's just hang out and chat. Oh, this picture is weird. I just don't get how it's only three bedrooms. Do they have like floor plans of this? Stake 44. It's near there. I want to see a floor plan. Is it? Let's see if there's more information here. It's on Zillow 14 days. Hilltop Estate. interesting three bedroom seven bathroom 96 four garage i'm not interested i'm not sending that in i just want to hang out and chat though or does anyone have a one that they want us to look at i'll save us some of these for like another time here's another one that i really liked i say i say i'll save it for another time as i open this how he wants to buy twitter that man has more money since oh we're talking about elon musk Blech. I liked this house too. This is the last one. And we won't even really look at it like that. I just like it. I don't like that bathroom actually. I didn't look at all these pics. I don't like it anymore. Um, I like this part of this house. I love this living room, I should say. Do it, do Didn't he buy Twitter today? Yeah, I think he did officially buy it or it's like officially going through or something like that. Which, what rich person would be essential? What rich person thing would be essential in your dream home? Ooh, that's a good question. Definitely a Peloton, but I already have that, so I feel like I should think of something I don't have. I would say a pool. A pool would be the most essential rich person thing, like a heated pool, like a fucking huge heated pool would be the vibes. Please don't let Elon buy Twitter. I know it's literally so bad. I don't want an indoor pool. I just want a heated pool. I, don't, I like to be outside, though. I like to have the sunshine on me. Let me look on Twitter about the Elon thing. A secret room that's a huge library. Damn, that's a good choice, too. Those automatic trash cans. My boyfriend has one of the automatic trash cans. It's nice. But sometimes when I'm at my house, I, like, wave my hand over mine, and I'm like, why isn't it working? Imagine you already living in a big communal living situation that has a pool. I live in an apartment complex that has a pool, but I don't use it that often because it's cold outside right now. But sometimes I use it. Heated driveway. Interesting. Oh man, I'm glad you liked this one. This one didn't really have any views because I wasn't doing anything and I didn't talk about it on any platforms, but I had a fun time. My head hurts though. I'm getting headaches recently. Probably because I didn't have enough water today or yesterday. <laughs> and I'm still like day two hungover. A lot of my hair's been falling out per usual. I need a cold pool. I live in Texas and the pool gets so hot in the summer. It feels like a bath. Oh, I hate that feeling. And thank you for being a first time chat. A Goldie 18, welcome to the party. My parents 
live on a lake and it gets like warm and it's gross and I know what you mean and I've been in pools that get that way too I used to get in trouble I was a lifeguard and whenever our pool would get too hot I would just like drain it and then fill it up with hose water so that was really cold and people would be so into it and then my boss would call me and be like stop wasting hundreds of dollars on water stop it stop draining the pool just because it's a little warm and I'll be like you are so boring you're a lifeguard too What about heated flooring, like tiles in the bathroom or something? So I love those, but I live in Florida and I run very hot. Like I'm always sweaty. I'm always hot. So I don't, that's like just not something that's a priority to me. You know, I would kill for a heated driveway. I live in Ohio and I could go the rest of my life without shoveling it. I'd be so happy. See what I mean? Like I've never even thought of that because I've never lived somewhere where that's been like a problem in my life of shoveling a driveway. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what other rich person things I would like in a house. Heated toilet seats are a game changer, though. That could be a vibe. Singing and writing, 27. I want a tub with jets. Yeah, I would have, like, a stupid nice bathroom. Bidet, yeah, I'd have a bidet. A prep kitchen, that's good. I'd have a stupid nice bathroom and a huge kitchen. Oh, I know what rich person thing I would have. This is what I want. Let me Google it and show you. This is what I want. On my deck, I want a giant deck with one of these black stone griddles. This is a knockoff one. I want like the expensive one. Is this the right brand? This is what I want in my house, in my rich person house. Yeah, these. With the air fryer drawers, bro, I want this so bad. I At the end of the day, I'm just like an old white man. I want a grill. I would love a pool, but I can't swim, so it's kind of useless. It's not useless. I can teach you how to swim. It's fun. And being in a pool is still fun, even if you aren't swimming, you know, if you're just like standing or sitting. It's still nice. I want a butler, a big outdoor kitchen. I deserve an outdoor kitchen is the thing. I do. I really, really do. (laughs) That's not what I wanted. Goodbye. I wanted to send you the link so you can send me a Zillow listing. I'll post it somewhere. Oh, I know what I can do. Let me try my link tree. What is my link tree? Ah, eh, fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> Actually, no. Honestly, I want a cleaning lady. When I was a kid, my mom would hire a cleaning lady sometimes. And it was nice. I'm not even going to lie to you. That shit was nice. It's very nice. Um, I need a driver and a chef. I want a driver. I fucking hate driving myself to work. I hate it so much. I'm going to become one of those girls that gets dropped off to work in my own car. OMG. Look at these nails. They're like honeybees. You can't see them. God damn it. Um, okay. I'm sleepy and my head hurts. So I'm actually going to log off soon. Remember how I said stage a coop in the department? Oh my God. Yes. It worked. (gasps) It worked. Holy shit. I need to do education horror stories next week. I took a break this week just because I felt like it and I didn't have a ton of submissions. Um, and no one had time to make slides, (laughs) but I'm glad that it worked. I'm looking forward to hearing the update about this. I have to add to the rest of my story. Please do. Please do. Let me go ahead just while you're here. I'll post that link in the chat because who cares? Um, Here's the horror story, education horror story link if anyone wants it. How do I get into submit a house for me to critique? Yay, this is what I wanted. You can see some people have sent them to me. Okay. This is the link that I wanted. If you want to send me a Zillow listing, I'll talk about it on TikTok or on here or both, whatever. If you want to send me a Zillow listing, there it is. It doesn't even have to be Zillow. It can be like any of these. You can see most of them are Zillow. Some are realtor. Some are just an address that I find. Um, And other people, oh my God, someone put their parents' house. (laughs) Okay. Don't dox yourself. Like don't dox yourself through this but you could submit one if you want to submit one. Oh my God, Jenna Marbles. 
I have so many at the school I'm about to leave. I don't even know where to begin. Literally send me all of them. I feel like all my stories are my mom's and she's trying to keep her job for right now. That's fair. That is fair. It's anonymous, but I know a lot of things that you can like still figure it out. How do you feel about international options? Send me any houses. I actually have loved that idea. I love House Hunters International. I used to watch it all the time, but then I kind of ran out of good episodes. But yeah, send me all the houses. I'm down. I'm 100% down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This was great. Sorry this week was like kind of more low-key and like I didn't really prepare anything and whatever. Please send French chateaus. Do you guys like this? Like, do you like the chatting one where we just like don't really have, you should tweet slash TikTok when you go live next. So I usually try and put it on Twitter and Instagram, but right now me and TikTok are beefing. So me and TikTok are beefing because every time I post about Twitch, I get shadow banned. And when I say shadow banned, I don't mean like, oh, this video got 200 likes when I usually get a thousand. I mean, it will sit at zero views for hours like zero views sometime and it won't ever go up. And I got removed from the creator fund, I think for talking about Twitch and it was just like pissing me off. So I just decided I was like, Twitch is just like for fun and I'm not going to talk about it or promote it on Twitter or on TikTok because I've heard people calling it the purple app. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe I will say that. But it's just like, I feel like every time I get like in trouble for it and then it's just like annoying and it's just pissing me off and like I'm here to have a good time you should call the chill chat time office hours <gasps> oh my god not my cup of tea founding subscriber and coming through with the best idea fucking possible I should call it office hours is there any requirement for the house submission like price or size so the only requirement I have for the house submission is that I don't make fun of working class people's houses. Like it's one thing if we're making fun of it because it's something weird. Like the airsoft ranch was like, that's something weird, but I'm not going to be like, Oh, your kitchen's so fucking ugly when it's just like a not rich person house. Other than that, there's no requirements. So I usually do like, just depending on the city, like I'll put in a filter, like plus 5 million plus 1 million, just depending on the area, but there's no requirements, price, size, anything like that. Um, But yeah, don't just like submit your neighbor's house because you hate them and want me to talk shit about their furniture. Actually, unless they deserve it, then DM me on Twitter and let me know what they did. So bare minimum, like three mil. I would just say it needs to be a fancy house for the area. You know, like every area's pricing is so different. So it just, it needs to be a fancy house for the area, for the space. I would say is the only real requirement. Yeah. Whatever you want, honestly. Send it. We're living. We're laughing. We're loving. Here, I'll send it in the chat again. Let me make like the shorter one. Um, so yeah, if you want to submit a house, there's your link. But yeah, should I keep doing this one or keep doing education horror stories or just kind of like flip-flop between the two depending on how I'm feeling and how the vibes are that day? Let me look at my work calendar. What's going on tomorrow? Like just while we're here. I'm going to log off in a couple seconds. Flip-flop, yeah. I feel like it's kind of the vibe do both um I just want to see what my day is like tomorrow I think tomorrow's crazy oh my god yeah tomorrow's crazy (laughs) yay (laughs) and my calendar won't even sync so there's like a bunch of shit that should be on there that's not even on there have you ever seen the one that's football themed with a sex dungeon I have not please send that to me immediately because I feel like you're getting less ed horse race yeah and that's what I figured would happen I was like people are all gonna send them in and then the people that have sent them in have sent them in you know like I feel like we haven't gone through all of them and plus like it's depressing sometimes you know so (laughs) I still want to do them but just like not all the time but I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep and by go to sleep I mean go watch tv for two hours until I pass out um we need happy things yes we need happy things we need making fun of houses all the things okay it's on zillow gone wild bye loved the chatting have a good night make good decisions all the things